Difference between stock taking and stock control. Stock taking and stock control are both important aspects of inventory management for businesses. Stock taking refers to the physical process of counting and verifying the quantity of stock on hand, while stock control is the ongoing management of the level of stock in order to ensure that a business has the right amount of stock at the right time. Both stock taking and stock control are essential for maintaining accurate inventory records and ensuring that a business has the necessary inventory to meet customer demand. 1. Purpose The main purpose of stock taking is to physically count and verify the quantity of stock on hand, while the main purpose of stock control is to manage the level of stock to ensure that a business has the right amount of stock at the right time. 2. Frequency Stock taking is typically done on a regular schedule, such as annually or quarterly, while stock control is an ongoing process that is continuously monitored and adjusted. 3. Scope Stock taking is focused on a specific point in time and only covers the physical inventory, while stock control covers the entire inventory management process, including forecasting, purchasing and reordering, and monitoring stock levels. 4. Involvement Stock taking usually requires a large number of employees and can be a time-consuming process, while stock control can be done by a smaller team and does not require as much involvement from employees. 5. Accuracy Stock taking is intended to provide an accurate snapshot of inventory levels, while stock control is intended to ensure that inventory levels are accurate and up-to-date on an ongoing basis. 6. Cost Stock taking can be a costly process, especially if it is done on a regular schedule, while stock control is typically less expensive as it is an ongoing process. 7. Data Stock taking generates data that is used for accounting and financial reporting, while stock control generates data that is used for forecasting, purchasing, and other inventory management processes. 8. Tools Stock taking is typically done manually, while stock control may use inventory management software to track and manage stock levels. 9. Reporting Stock taking typically results in a detailed report of inventory levels, while stock control generates regular reports on inventory levels, stock turnover, and other inventory management metrics. 10. Action Stock taking does not necessarily lead to any specific actions, while stock control may result in actions such as adjusting reorder levels, adjusting safety stock, or discontinuing slow-moving items. 11. Compliance Stock taking may be a compliance requirement for certain industries, while stock control is not necessarily a compliance requirement. 12. Integration Stock taking can be integrated with other inventory management processes, such as stock control, while stock control should be integrated with other business processes such as forecasting, purchasing, and accounting. Conclusion Stock taking and stock control are both important aspects of inventory management for businesses. Stock taking is the physical process of counting and verifying the quantity of stock on hand, while stock control is the ongoing management of the level of stock in order to ensure that a business has the right amount of stock at the right time. Both are essential for maintaining accurate inventory records and ensuring that a business has the necessary inventory to meet customer demand. Stock taking provides an accurate snapshot of inventory levels, while stock control ensures inventory levels are accurate and up-to-date on an ongoing basis. Both processes are important and should be integrated with other inventory management processes and business processes to improve the overall efficiency and effectiveness of inventory management. Hope you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.